did you have to bring that thing on the plane with us? Well, I didn't know. Come on. Barcelona. This way to customs. Is that where they tell you about the local habits? No, it's where you have your bags checked. I don't want it checked. I like it the way it is. That's me and Auntie Nelly in Morecambe. Just like their football teams, can't take the pressure. Come on. Never mind. There'll be another one along in a minute. Do you think so? Oh, definitely. <laughs> nice one, Barry. Could have been nasty, that. Come on, over here. No time to lose. To lose? I've only got the one. Spain, home of sand, sea and sunshine. People like Carmen, Picasso. Bless you. Thank you. And other great painters like Salvador Dali. Not to mention his equally famous brother, Don Dilly. Eh? Don Dilly Dali. Hey, I'm really looking forward to this break, you know. Do you know, it's the first time I've been in Continental. Me too. Hey, let's have a look at our facts again. What Dan, do you mean? Yeah, see what he says. Here we are. Dear lads, I am off to South America to lie low until the heat dies down. Would be grateful if you could pop over and look after my apartment for a couple of days. Ticket at El Travel Agent. Key under the Matador. Yours, etc., etc. Dan the van. P.S. Could you have a look at the plumbing in the bathroom? I've got water where I shouldn't order. PPS, and keep an eye on Leonard, my pet lemming. He's in a cage in the lounge. PPPS, he loves bananas. Fancy keeping a pet lemon? Lemming, not lemon. It's a furry little thing that keeps jumping off cliffs. Lucky now there's a cold cliff then. Mm. Anyway, what does he mean by lie low until the heat dies down? He's not in any trouble, is he? No, he's probably been out in the sun too long. He's got sunburnt and having to lie down until he feels better. Oh, I see. Not the only one, actually. With all this sun, I'm beginning to sweat myself. Can you hold on till we get inside? <laughs> Morning. Buenos dias. What a nice man. Senor Barry, we're in Spain now. You've got to speak like the locals. Oh, 
What a nice senor. That's better. Hang on. We could ask him where Dan lives. It'd break the ice. Break the ice? Yes. It's boiling. Excuse me, senor Diaz. Or can I call you Buenas? Uh, me amigo at uh, myself, wondering if you could explain um, apartmentos where Dan the van lives. Oh, see, sí. Danuel El Banuel. The very nice man with a very nice van. That's him. He lives up there. Oh, thanks. Me and my brother are looking after the place for him while he's away. We're from England, you know. Barry, our card. England. I have a cousin in England. Goodness gracious. Have you really? It's a small world. Oh, see, si. Paco, he is my cousin, 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 on the side of my wife. All on your wife's side? Oh, see. Si. Must be a bit awkward when you have an argument. Them all being on your wife's side, I mean. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, you English. <laughs> you so funny. <laughs> Maybe I see you esta tarde. Hasta luego. Adios. He's not going to see my Esther Tardy. He means this afternoon. I don't care when he means. He's still not going to see it. What are you doing? I'm having a rest. You've no time for that. You've got that toilet to fix. I have? Yes. I can't do it. Got a touch of toiletitis. Must be the heat. Probably. Go get it fixed, then. I don't know how. It's easy. You pull out the old one and bang in the new one. Sort of out with the old, in with the new. That's it. I'll go and do it, then. Good. You'll let me know if your toiletitis gets worse. I will. Good. Have you taken the screws out? Oh, yeah! Ah! Help! Help! Barry? Help! What are you doing? This is no time to dry your hair. Oh. I feel all flushed. I'll give you a flushed. Now, go and wash your hands. You must always wash your hands when you've had your head in the toilet. This towel's all wet. Well, hang it on the balcony. It'll soon dry out in this sun. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh. Hello, Leonard. Hey, I'm really looking forward to this break, Barry. No messing, no fuss. Hey, Paul. I can see the pool out here. Oh, no. What's that leaky pipe Dan was telling us about? He said the plumbing was dodgy. Good idea of mine to bring that toilet along. See if you can find a mop. You'll need a big mop for this one. Beans and daisies. Buenos dias. See, Barry, I'm starting to pick up the lingo already. Nice spot of weather for this time of year. You see, Barry, the local people here, they're like a nice, friendly, warm welcome. Talking of warm, I'm roasting. Well, let's go inside, then. It's just as warm in there as it is out here. Look at these poor flowers. They need watering. Watering, Barry. I'm not watering, Barry. I'm watering the plants. Well, you're going to have to stop it. That man's wet through down there. Yeah, but if I don't water them, they'll die. Tell you what, I'll take the awning out. That way it'll shield the flowers and it'll keep the sun out of the lounge. Good, because I've got very sensitive skin. The chemist took one look at my face and said he'd never seen anything like it. Well, why didn't you get something before you left? I did. I got the Huddersfield face block to keep out the sun. Oh, well, what are you moaning at? Go and put it on. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, Barry, I once saw a fella in a shop getting the awning out like this, and what he didn't know 
was it been raining all night. The thing was full of water. He got soaked. <laughs> no chance of that happening here, though. I mean, when was the last time you saw it rain round here? Seven o'clock this morning. It poured down. Whoa. Oh, no! What is this? The rain in Spain falls mainly on the man downstairs. It wasn't my fault. How did I know there was water in there? And take that stupid thing off your head. It's supposed to protect my rather delicate complexion. Well, you can't go walking around with a stupid paper bag on your head for a fortnight. Go and have a look in the bathroom cabinet. Perhaps Dan's left some sunblock or something in there. <sighs> hey, and you can take that toilet with you as well. Satellite dish. He has. He had it installed so he could watch EastEnders. Well, it's not working. The only cream I could find was this toothpaste. Well, that'll do. I'm not putting this on my face. I'll smell all spearminty. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Leonard's legged it. You left the door open. Me? I never touched it. Don't argue. The question is, where's the lemming? <laughs> there he goes, after him. Oh, no. He's gone round the bend. Luckily, there's no water in there. The heat must have got to him. How are we going to get him back? I know. We'll flush him out. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's worse than I thought. How worse did we think it was? Less worse than that. Can we fix it? Can we fix it? I asked first. Of course we can fix it. A chuckle can fix anything. All it needs is a minor adjustment of the Bullcock non-return aquaflow grindle. I don't think that's a good idea. What about Leonard? Nonsense. It's a great idea. And lemmings can swim. <laughs> oh, 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 dear old dear. Oh. I'll stop it. Oh. 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 It's all right, I'll try it again. Hey, hang on a minute, hang on. OK. Where are we going? It's no good fitting a new toilet until we've got the pipe sorted out. And we've got Leonard back. We're going to nip down the shop and get a what's it. What's it? That's it. Have you got the potatoes? No, just damp trousers. Very busy, Paul. Yes. It's obviously that European common market they keep talking about. Have you got the list? No, it's just the way the pavement slopes. Oh, I see. We've got lots to do. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> it's great, this. What I do, I stick this down the toilet and turn on the air. The pressure cleans out the pipes and chases Leonard out. <laughs> it's very nice. But do you think it'll work? Think? I never think. I know. If it does work, we'll be able to do all the pipes in the village. We could make a fortune. <laughs> Where are you going? Down the beach. What for? I thought I'd leave you to it. Come on. To you, then. To me, Paul. To you. To me, then. To you. To you. And that's great. Uh, right. Lift the lid. Let's go for it. Activate the machine. It's working. Oh, 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 oh,
trouble with his pipes as well. Perhaps he's been looking for Leonard. <laughs> Leonard, you've come home. Perhaps he's a homing lemming. Mm. It's very nice of you to help us look for Leonard, but he's come back on his own accord, thank you. No, thank you. I thank you, you chuckling amigos. Oh, there's no need. Oh, yes. Paco, my cousin in England, tells me all about you. He didn't. He did. He didn't. He did. Did he? Oh, see, I know like you. Well, there's gratitude for you. After we cleared his drains out for him as well. He doesn't look too happy. Perhaps we should go home. I think that's a good idea. It is a good idea. You go before I go back, or else. Who's else? Don't know. It must be his wife. Come on, we better leave. OK, for as long as we don't go by plane, because I hate flying. Isn't there some other way we can get home? Hmm. I'll think of something. Well, what do you think? I'm trying not to. If you think I'm going in this thing, you've got another thing coming. I think it'll sink. Of course it won't think. All we've got to do is pedal it back to England, get a cake of soap and wash ourselves ashore. I am not going. Rather than a plane at home. Why didn't you say so? Which way is it? Straight on and turn left at Gibraltar. Hey, you did remember to lock Leonard's cage, didn't you? Me? I thought you did it. Me? No. I told you to do it when you fed him. <sighs> Never mind. Dan's back tomorrow. He'll sort it out. <laughs>